Welcome back. Ladies, time for some fashion upgrades. Want to look great without breaking the bank? Want to dress for success and keep the change? Well, here's Christine Navis, the founder of ClosetDeep.com. Christine, it is awesome to have you on the show. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Well, you can't talk about style unless you look the part. And look at you with your fancy leather pants. You're looking Thank very you. cool. Thank yeah. you. Obviously, you know what you're talking about. Well, I would hope so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Considering you founded a company based on that. Uh, ClosetDeep.com, what is it? It's actually an online boutique that we actually sell trends, classic styles, everything at an affordable price for the everyday girl. So basically, anybody goes onto the site and they just shop. Basically, right? yeah. yeah. Just go on, pick out the pieces you like, and you're good to go. And what is the what's kind of the the main hook? Why would people choose your your place than, uh, rather than others? Probably the main hook would be is that we found that a lot of online boutiques either cater to one style or the other. They're very much extremes, and we made it a point to make it a middleman, so you can get the classic styles, but the edgy stuff, all at an affordable price point, which. You know, the average young woman can't afford to be spending $150, $200 on every outfit they wear. So we wanted to make an affordable line and clothing company that would basically cater to all women. It's a one-stop shop. Very cool. And you keep saying we, and I know that you have a partner that you just cannot get along with, <laughs> right? You just can't stand working with Just can't with stand this her at all. Yeah, no, it's your sister, right? Yes, it's my sister, my older sister. So who is the boss of the, of the company? It, we co-own it, yeah. so we made sure to make it half half. It's not like fifty one forty nine. No, it's, not at all. Sometimes yeah. the age will be like I'm older, but <laughs> we usually work it out. How is it though to work with a, a sibling? It's actually pretty easy. You know, I've obviously lived with her my whole life. I still live with her. We moved out together, so it's easy to add the work into it. And we're very much different, and the things that we're good at are different. So we complement each other a lot of times. And if we ever have disagreements, that's where mom comes in. No, so. right, still, <laughs> still, doesn't matter how old you are. Oh, that's cool. But so, how does the how does the process work? How do you get the inventory for people to look at? Well, basically, what we'll do is we'll go to our wholesale companies and we'll go through it, see items that would fit my style, would fit my sister's style, which are very different, and things that we both like. So we have a mix of everything, not too much of one. Mm -hmm. And uh, so are these like uh, brands that, that I would know, regular, uh, sort of like regular Joe brands? Or? Well, usually they're probably brands that you might not be familiar with. You might see their items in other boutiques every once in a while, different versions of it, but you probably off the bat wouldn't recognize the names. Well, listen, I got to tell you, I'm not going to recognize the names. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> yeah, but this is not my area of expertise. Unless it says, like, you know, there's like three places that I shop at. Um, but that, that's for another <laughs> that's for another inter interview. How did this start? Uh, were you guys just sitting around one day going, man, this would be cool, and then it happened? Well, it kind of started off, I was actually fashion blogging when I was in my undergrad studying. Did it as a hobby. Um, then I had left for a year to do my master's, and in the meantime, my sister kind of threw the idea at me. It's like, you've always wanted to go into fashion. You, why don't we just turn it into a boutique? She's very business savvy. She's a, she was a finance major, all that stuff, so she's good with numbers, and I was very much the communication person. So we complement each other, so we just decided to go for it. We figured, why not? There it is. And how long has it been going on? Uh, it's going to be a year. We started, we aired, actually went live October of last year. Okay. And how's the feedback been? It's been actually really good. We've gone international sales, domestic sales, everything. So it's actually going really well. So so you were a blogger. Were you one of those people that was like, you know, red carpet disasters and all that, all that stuff? I never put people's disasters up, but I would talk about things that I thought I liked. Celebrities, outfits that came out that were nice, um, new fall lines, new winter lines, everything like that. We're so. going to we're gonna see in about a minute or so, we've got some models here. We're going to talk about some cool looks yes. and how you can do it on you know via your site. But let me ask you really quickly, uh, for ladies upcoming, what's the, the, the coolest fashion trend and the one thing you absolutely better not do or you're going to get laughed at all across South Florida? I think the biggest thing is not even so much what trend to follow, but rather dressing what's best for your body style because a lot of girls will just wear something because it's super trendy but it might not fit their body style so the biggest thing is to wait, find a way to incorporate the trends to fit their body style I think that's the biggest thing to keep in mind I think that seems reasonable it's enough. very reasonable yeah that doesn't that doesn't seem hard at all okay the, la the last thing I wanted to ask you is um, 
what's the future of your company? How big is it going to get? Where do you want it to be? We're just hoping to slowly get bigger and bigger and bigger. We're not really at a point that we're going to say we're going to stop here. Mm -hmm. We hope it doesn't stop. We want it to last a long time. So we're just hoping that we keep growing every year and getting bigger. Well, women will always work close. Exactly. So, th so that's a good thing. So uh, it's a, a necessity. It's a bad thing for guys, but uh, <laughs> it's a good thing for you. Okay, so so we have some models that are going to come out now. Yes. And, um, and we're going to take a look at some looks that they can essentially get on your site without paying a ton of money, right? Exactly. All right, let's bring them out. Perfect. Okay. All right, Christine, so this is pretty cool. So you've, you've recreated some celebrity looks. Yes. So you can look like a celeb without spending a fortune. Exactly, that's the whole point. Okay, so where do we want to start? Uh, we'll start here. Alex actually here is wearing an outfit that is modeled after Nina DeBrove's actual red carpet gown. Now obviously you're not going to wear a gown every day, so this is actually the more affordable everyday girl version. It's lightweight, it has this pattern that's very geometric, and it's black and white, which is huge this fall. So it's perfect for any girl that just wants to throw on a maxi dress, but want to still look like a celebrity like she did at the red carpet. How much something like that cost you? Everything that we are showing is under 50 bucks. Gotcha. What's a maxi dress? A maxi dress is actually a long dress. Oh. It's just a long I dress. I was testing you to make sure you knew that, obviously. <laughs> of course. Uh, oh, sure, a maxi dress. Okay, yes. uh, moving on. And then we actually have Sarah here who's wearing one of our most popular pieces, our Catherine polka dot dress. Um, it's actually modeled after Lily Collins' outfit that she's actually been wearing a lot on her Mortal Instruments like promotional tour. And it's super feminine. I love it because it's also, it's very lightweight. It's great material. It's not something that you have to worry about dry cleaning or have to iron all the time. And then it has the accent belt, which is actually perfect and adds a little pop of color. And it's the perfect girly dress. Does, so the belt comes with it? The belt comes with it. Gotcha, okay. And then finally? And then our last one, we actually have Lynette modeling our Demi Lovato look that she rocked at the Teen Choice Awards this year. It basically is one of my favorite go-to outfits. It has the basic tee that has some kind of graphics on it. It has our tuxedo blazer, which is huge this fall, and our go-to fox leather leggings that any girl can rock. You can put on flats and wear it every day or change it up and put heels for nighttime. Nice. So is black and white kind of in then? This fall, it's huge. You'll see the big names from Chanel to Dior rocking black and white outfits everywhere. Interesting. Why, why is that? I've always been fascinated by that. Why is something in one season but not in the next year? you got to rotate. you got to recycle everything. <laughs> You'll see things from the 80s coming back all the time. So. Really? Because I still have some Z Cavaricis. I don't know if those are coming back. But <laughs> Gosh, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm, and my, mem never know. my members only jacket, too. You never I'm, know. Still, I'm still hoping that that happens. <laughs> It was so great to, to have you here. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, thank you for having us. Give us the website one more time. You can definitely go to www.closetdeep.com and get all these looks and more for under $50. All right. It was, uh, it was great to see all of you. Thank you all for coming in, and I will see you again soon. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Christine, and that'll do it for today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or any ideas as to what we should cover, all you have to do is tweet us at WSFL. Of course, you can also follow us at Facebook at Inside South Florida and at SFLCW. And one more thing, you can also catch us every weekday morning from 6 to 8 right here for Eye Opener. You got all that? Good. We'll see you next week for another episode of Inside South Florida.